This is UFI Security's new SolarCam S340. So it's a security camera that has a few things that are a lot different to other models that you'll find on the market. Firstly, it's got a dual camera setup. And this is really good for getting in close to things because we've got a three times zoom that can go up to eight times hybrid and then a wide camera too to get everything in the shot. Now it's got a full 360 degrees of coverage because of its pan and tilt. So there are absolutely no blind spots. The footage that is recorded, that 3K footage, is saved locally, so it's got eight gigabytes of storage on board, and it basically will be powered pretty much forever as long as you mount it somewhere where the solar panel does get two hours of sunshine at least, and then it will go for the whole day. So this panel can be mounted onto the top of the unit like I have it here as you can see, but there's flexibility with this as there is a extension Type-C cable that is 10 foot long or three meters, allowing you to have a lot of flexibility in where you install it. So you can install the camera in a certain position and then up to that 10 feet away, have your solar panel. This is what you'll find in the box. We've got, of course, our solo cam S340, the mount for it, two sets of screws there. There's also a positioning sticker for mounting it and a quick start guide. This is for the solar panels. It's a solar panel mount and a type C to type A cable. And this cable here is the extension type C. So that is 10 feet or three meters. Finally, our solar panel, which is removable. Now you see the plug that this does have and use is a type C plug and there is our mounting point. The SolarCam S340 does have a nice small compact design to it. When I saw it and pulled it out of the box first, I thought, well, this is actually quite a bit smaller than I thought it was going to be, considering the fact that they've got the two cameras in here and all that's on offer. So up here at the front, status LED. This is a speaker. There is a built-in microphone, so we can have two-way conversations and you can capture audio too as well. And on the back here, this is our sync button to sync it up first with the application. This is where it clips on to the mount and at the top here there is the mounting point there for the two holes perfectly line up with this mount here so you can just screw that onto the top and have the solar panel there otherwise you can use that cable that I just showed you before and mount that solar panel wherever you want which is really good. Now because it does have the solar panel with it as long as it gets two hours of sunlight a day it's basically just going to be powered forever there which is great and that is with their what they call their solar plus. Now if you're not going to use the solar panel or it doesn't get the two hours of sun a day well, it will still go for up to four months on a single charge, which is great battery life too out of it. So this is where it will spin right around. We've got that full 360 degrees of coverage. It can track people, subjects, AI detection with that, even detect vehicles too as well. And it's got the local storage within this, which is eight gigabytes. So you're gonna have no charges with that either. It's free to use it. And I'll show you the application later on with it. So the camera will angle up and down here. So that's how it can pretty much get everything and it can because it's full coverage there, 360 degrees. And we've got our passive infrared sensor and this is a 100 lumens bright here. This powerful, it's four little LEDs within that that I can see. And then our cameras. Now they are using a very bright and large f1.6 aperture which you don't normally get with security cameras. Really good to see that. So this is our two times optical camera that can go up to eight times hybrid zoom. That is uh, just the 2K, but this one is the 3K resolution as well, which is our wide angled lens. So 135 degree field of view with that same bright F 1.6 apertures. Really good to see that. So what I'm gonna do now is get this set up and I'll show you how I'm gonna be mounting it and I'll put that solar panel, that's gonna go on the top there. And like always, I've got my assistant here, Vera. She is supervising my installation of the camera and to make sure I'm doing everything correctly, aren't you Vera? All right, so the ideal location to mount your solo cam S340 would be somewhere where you're gonna have a bit of sunlight. And ideally, the more hours, the better, of course, but it only needs two to be able to pretty much just power itself forever. So my mounting point is here. This is the post that I'm gonna put it on that I, where I test out my cameras. So from there, I get a very good view of down this side of the house where no other UV security cameras are at the moment and then down this side too there. So for anyone coming in and walking down the side of the house, that's gonna be a good position for it. And it will get a lot of sunlight during the day too. Mounting the solar panel on the top, that was not difficult at all. So there's those mounting points that I showed you. You remove the internals of the mount and you just simply screw it on. And that is what it looks like. You can see now set up with it on the top.
Now you can use the template to mount it, that way you can space out those holes perfectly for the camera mount. And I already have some holes pre-drilled here. These are ones that I've been using for testing out other cameras and it just happens to line up pretty much perfectly there. So I am fine with that. So what I'm gonna do now is mount it and then we'll get on to what the test footage looks like after this. So mounting it was very, very easy here just to simply slot it on, it clips into place. Now the solar panel, I don't have it in the correct position. I really need to have this more or less just lying flat or actually angled towards the left of where the video is. But I've just got it like this so you can see what it looks like on the top here. So just really for demonstration purposes, but it is looking very good. The solo cam S340, you're listening to now the built-in microphone that it does have. And because of the speaker I showed you before, you can have two-way conversations. And I'll give you a sample of that speaker shortly just after this. You can see it's tracking me just fine. So we have the AI tracking, so it'll track humans. You can also get it to track cars and even pets, but that one's currently in beta. So we have the wide angle and then the three times zoom. And you can see both now. So you've got both of those images with the zoom footage and then the ultra wide footage. And really no problems at all tracking me as I move about here. Good image quality and I think the microphone quality too is quite good considering just how far away from the camera I am at the moment. And this here is what our nighttime footage does look like. You can see this is the black and white mode at the moment but there is a color night mode I'll show you just after this clip. And it's clear enough at night that you can see that I have here a electric bike and imagine this is someone Stealing it, hopefully not, but you get that all recorded on camera. And of course, it's still tracking me just fine. The color night vision now is using the 100 lumens LED flashlight to light me up here. And it's pitch black here otherwise. Now you've got either the black and white, which I just showed you a sample of. At the start of that last clip, it didn't kick in until I was about here halfway. And right now, I think this quality is still very good. And the light, it's bright enough to light me up that I am clear, but I do prefer the black and white for our nighttime footage. I just think it gets a little more in terms of detail, but if you want color, then you have this option through the application, which I'll show you. This is our application called Eufy Security, so you can get it with Android, which I'm using now, and then iOS with your Apple phones and your tablets. So here at first glance you get all of the cameras, the last captured event there you'll see a shot of that. Now the notifications will be sent through to you so you can also select to have a thumbnail if you want and you get those notifications. You can see right here just recently I had a courier delivery so the driver arrived and I wasn't home at the time so he ended up throwing the package over the fence so some of that is recorded there. The events of all of the cameras are listed here and you can just tap on this and then you can stream over that. So this is me recording some of my test footage. So you can go into that, you can download it right here and you see it's the dual camera at the moment so we have the wide angle and then the, well the wide angle at the top and then the three times zoom at the bottom. Now any of these devices here that I do have so let's go into the Solo Cam S340. This is now the live preview and you can see how quick that was. It just simply tapping there, it just loads up straight away. I've got plenty of signal strength, which is definitely helping. So when you tap here, you can zoom in, but it's better to be in landscape for that. So I go over to landscape and it's gonna just reload that for a, a second. So here I can control the camera, so I can move it about. Okay, this is my preview of just the ultra wide or the wide angle, sorry, and then your three times I can go in there and you're able to zoom in even further there too, which is great. So you can turn on the mic if there's someone there, maybe you're of course waiting for a delivery, you've got a delivery driver at your door, then you can talk to them with the mic, the speaker's built in, you have the alarm that you can turn on if you want, turn on the flashlight and just straight away start recording a clip. If you wanted to do that, you just simply need to tap there. So getting out of that, going back to where all of our devices are, I'll just show you some of the settings here. There are a few, and I don't want to go into too much detail here because otherwise it's just going to get a little long. So you've got your pan, tilt, calibration, power management. So you're able to select your power source. Now I have the solar panel, but you can put it onto the battery. As mentioned, that'll be up to four months. But with the solar panel, especially where I have it placed now, I mean, it's not going to run out of power. It's just going to be powered pretty much to stay on forever like the other camera, other solar cam, solo cam that I do have. Never had to take it down and charge it because of the panel always just topping it up. Now if you go to the dashboard, you can see the charge levels there. 
And I normally gain a couple of percent every day, normally about three or four percent. And it only uses normally about two percent or one percent during the day. So it's fine. It's never really going to get low on the battery. So you can see your detection stats right there at the top two under power management. Motion detection. So as I mentioned before, when we were looking at the footage and just talking all about that, that you've got human vehicles as well and other motions. If you wanted to set that up, you can. Now, I recommend against this because you're going to get a lot of uh, false triggers for that, maybe just leaves blowing around and other bits and pieces which you don't really want. You can set the activity zone, so if you did have a tree that's blowing around all the time, well you could set it that that wouldn't actually be included, it wouldn't be a trigger point that area which is good. You have your uh, detection sensitivity, AI tracking, you can test it out, tips for installation when you first set it up so you see all of that. And there's quite a bit in there, those preset positions. This is also very handy because you don't want to have it always looking in an area where there's not going to be a lot of people. So I have my first one set to where the entrance is, where people come through the gate and then the front of the house. And that's best because I don't want it pointing just straight ahead because it would be looking at the pool where there really isn't anyone. And I have another preset position here that I can go over to. And you can see it's just moved that camera now, uh, which is very good the way it's done that and the way you can set up those positions, it makes sense to have it set to where you're gonna have a lot more traffic. So audio settings, that's pretty self-explanatory. Video, so the streaming quality I have set to 3K and even though it's 5, 2.4, sorry, gigahertz bandwidth it's using for Wi-Fi, I've had no problems with it at all because of my router's pretty powerful and a good one. And so oh, both of those are set there, the streaming quality to 3K. Night vision, so you have the two options here for black and white vision or the color night vision that I showed you with those samples. And lastly, this is a very handy one to have. This option is the security. So this can be automatic too as well. Now, when you go out, you'd set this to away. So when it triggers and sees anyone, what it will do then is record that clip, of course, send you a notification, but also turn the alarm on. Now with automation, you can set up basically like geofencing, and this is really good. It means if you leave your house, it will automatically put whatever camera you want to in an away mode. So again, the alarm will come on and it will record those clips. So it's got a lot of features in here, very good application here from Eufy Security. Loudspeaker sample of the Solo Cam S340. So the speaker is currently set to the default 80% volume. And as you can hear from this sample, that it is loud, it is clear. So if anyone is close enough to the camera, you'll be able to communicate with them and they will be able to hear you just fine. And here's a preview now of what the built in alarm sounds like. It is very loud. Now, I've turned this down quite a bit just to protect people's ears, any headphone users out there. I just notched it down quite a bit because it was so loud. But this is just to give you an idea of what it does sound like if you set it to the alarmed mode and someone enters in the area where it is. It detects that this is what it's going to sound like now. As you can hear from that, it was very loud and really quite annoying too. Recapping now, so we have the 360 degrees of coverage, which is really good. Of course, it's got the passive infrared that it can track people and it's advanced AI human tracking and also cars. So that's another good feature too, because imagine if someone pulls in your driveway and they're having a look around your house or something, but they don't get out of their car, what well, it's gonna be able to record that too, which is very handy. Not all security cameras have that feature. The footage that is recorded in 3K, that's stored locally, and I love the fact that it's a dual camera set up too as well, so you have your wide-angled and then your zoom camera too, and you can go up to eight times hybrid zoom to zoom in and see all of those details, and very bright lenses too with a 1.6, and f1.6 aperture is great. Now this was very easy to mount and set up, they even include that little template so you can install it, screw that into place and get yourself set up rather quickly. And you've got the option, the flexibility to have the solar panel either mounted onto the top with the same mount, the top of the camera itself, or to have it set up 10 feet or three meters away from the Solo Cam S340. So it's got a lot on offer here and don't forget that it does have the 100 lumens camera, there's the built-in speaker, the microphone, so you can have two-way conversations. And there's a lot in the application that I didn't all go through, but there's plenty of options in there, the alerts, the footage you get, all very handy. So there we go, that is my first impressions and hands-on here with the Eufy Security Solo Cam S340. Thanks a lot for watching.